I'm doing a Minecraft mob battle with my friend, but any mob I dress up as, I become. So, for example, if I put on an outfit that looks like a crazy mob, I can become it. And using this, I can dress up as my friend's mobs and use this to prank him. So, Cordy, are you ready for the mob battle? Yes, Sparky, I am. Let's go. Let's go. Now that the mob battle has officially started, before I dress up as any mobs, I actually have something really cool that I want to show you guys and that is this button and some of you might know what this button is but let me show you if you don't know what it is if you come over here and press this button which when i press the button it turns the wall to glass and that is a really cool thing but what's good about this is basically we can see exactly what cardi is going to be spawning in using this giant glass wall and cardi actually can't see this because on his yeah. side it's bedrock but wait speaking of cardi what is he doing he's literally placing that trees and growing some trees is he trying to make something on his arena well that is a little bit interesting i wonder if he's trying to make a jungle arena to boost his jungle mobs to make like a habitat for his mobs or something i don't know maybe he's trying to make a mob that can spawn in the jungle but i wonder what kind of mob he's gonna spawn in here i mean he does have a bunch of trees and wait look at the mob card he is spawning in that is so cool that is literally a jungle abomination mob but that is what Cardi's gonna spawn in for this round and I guess with all these jungle trees he was trying to make a jungle arena to boost his mobs power but let me show you how we're gonna do this thing where we can dress up as any mobs and turn into them so what we gotta do first is we gotta find some armor that looks similar to this jungle abomination and what is this guy made out of well for starters it's uh literally made out of wood and it is some kind of jungle wood so maybe there is a wood armor we can find in a second and wait there is some wood armor it's literally called iron wood armor so we're gonna grab this and also grab some jungle leaves to actually turn into this mob so we will actually look like the tree monster well i guess now what we're gonna do is put on our armor to turn into this monster so let's put this all on and it even put on this leaf block for our helmet and wait now that we have all this armor and we are dressed up as cardi's mob how do we actually turn into it well let me show you you. Well, if we actually get this potion called the Turn Into Any Mob Potion and splash it onto ourselves like this, we will actually turn into the mob we dressed as in. Wait, look at me. What on earth did I turn into? But wait, we're also on Cardi's side. What the heck? Wait, this means that as this mob, we should be able to do a bunch of really funny pranks. And wait, look at Cardi. He actually has no idea that we're on his side. And this is going to be extremely 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 good for us but this is gonna be really good because as i said we are gonna be able to break him and how should we break him i mean we have a lot of opportunities since cordy literally does not realize that i am actually not one of his mobs like look i can literally just go and jump up near him and he will not even see a difference like this guy has no idea what's going on but i feel like i have a little bit of a funny prank idea so i'm gonna run away from cordy and come over into this corner right here and destroy these blocks and actually build something a little bit scary and let me show you what i'm gonna build so what we're gonna do is grab some lava gold netherrack and redstone torches and build a little bit of a shrine right here and let me show you exactly what we're building once it's done so as you see we got a little bit of a design right here and it is not finished because we do need one more thing which is called the altar of hero brian and i know that sounds a little bit scary but we also need something called the Cursed Diamond 2. And what this is gonna do once we place this down is actually curse his side with Hero Brian. And as you saw, there was a lightning strike. But what this is gonna be able to do is make it so that uh Hero Brian actually spawns in. And wait, now Cardi has Hero Brian on his side. But the reason why we actually wanted to spawn in Hero Brian right next to Cardi is so we could trick him into thinking that his side is literally cursed by Hero Brian. And uh, that is a little bit creepy so what we're gonna do 
you first for the first prank with Hero Brian. It's making it look like that all of his trees lost all their leaves because that is a power that Hero Brian has. And Cardi should notice that because all of those leaves made a giant sound once they all got destroyed. And I wonder if he's going to notice his trees missing all his leaves. Oh man, I am so going to win this mob battle. But wait, what the heck? I could have sworn that these jungle trees were just full of leaves. And yeah, Cardi is right about that because these things were definitely full of leaves. But I feel like we could break them a little bit more. So what if we also made his side look a little bit more cursed? And how could we make it look even more cursed than this? Because uh, this does not look normal at all. Well, what we can do is actually run a command to replace all the jungle wood with netherrack and redstone blocks just to make his side look a little bit more scary. And I wonder if Cardi's even going to notice this hero, Brian, right here. All the trees that I was just looking at turned to netherrack and this redstone. Wait, this has to be hero, Brian. Is there a hero, Brian, on my side or something? And wait a second. Wait, Mr. Steve, why? I Wait, that's not Steve. That's hero, Brian. And I think Cardi literally noticed the hero, Brian, on his side. But I do have one more prank to do. And since Cardi only has, like, jungle monsters, what if we grabbed an item called Fire Dynamite and started throwing this all around to make it look like Cardi's hero, Brian, is doing a lot of damage to his mobs? Oh my gosh, stop it, Hero Brian. You're burning all of my leaf mobs. And it definitely isn't Hero Brian. It's actually just me dressed up as this jungle monster. And wait, it actually is just going and destroying everything. Why is this happening? Wait, I have to get water or something. There's so much fire. Uh, yeah, there is a lot of fire. And I'm just gonna throw even more, Cardi. But now I think I am done with that prank. But I do have a different idea of something else to do. But, uh, it kind of requires me to go back on my side so let me go back there like that now that we're back on Cardi's side as you can see his side is literally just kind of getting decimated by that hero brian mob that was doing a bunch of attacks well it was actually just kind of me doing everything but anyways what i have in mind is actually since i know what Cordy is spawning in i can actually do the exact counter to his mob and let me show you what that would be and the counters to his mob would actually be a few things like like mutant blazes, this lava monster, and even Ignis's. And these are literally some of the most powerful fire mobs. So Cordy is going to have no idea how to spawn in the exact counter. And that is going to be really funny. But let's spawn in a few more of everything just to make our army even more powerful. So there we go. Now we got everything. And Cordy, are you ready to drop the walls? Yes, I am, Smirky. And I am the craziest boss for this first round. You have the craziest boss for this first round, Cardi. Well, I'm actually kind of excited to see what it is. But tell me, how is your army actually going, Cardi? Well, my army was going really, really good, but then for some reason, Hero Brian spawned on my side and threw a bunch of fire everywhere. Wait, 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 Cardi. Hero Brian spawned it on your side and threw a bunch of fire everywhere? What on earth are you talking about? Smokey, I guess it sounds pretty crazy, but that's actually what happened. Uh, okay, Cardi. Well, that's really, really weird. Uh, anyways, are you ready to drop the walls? Yes, I am. Let's go. All right, then. Let's go, Cardi. And now the walls have dropped and you better be prepared to lose. Smarky, I am not gonna lose. Oh, but uh oh, Smarky, what kind of mobs do you have? Maybe I will lose. Yeah, Cordy, you definitely are gonna lose. I mean, from what it looks like, it literally seems like you just spotted leaf monsters and Cordy to fire monsters. Leaf monsters aren't a problem at all. Smarky, I know. Since I have wood monsters, they are getting burnt by your fire monsters. And are all my mobs dead except this one? Uh, Cardi, what are you talking about? That one just died. But look, all of your monsters are completely gone. I mean, there is this guy uh, over there, but it just died, Cardi. Yeah, Smirky, my last mob just died and I lost already. <laughs> Cardi, how was your army so bad? And what are those giant red things on your side? Smirky, these were jungle trees, but Hero Brian turned them to Netherrack. Hero Brian turned your trees to Netherrack. Cardi, what on earth are you talking about? Out. That would never happen. I mean, why on earth would that happen at all, Cardi? Smacky, you have to believe me. I don't know why. It just did. Okay, well, that is really weird. Anyways, let's just reset the arena and move on to the next round.
round. Let's go! And now that we're on to the next round, it's time for the next prank. So do not leave because we are about to be doing some really, really, really funny stuff. So you better watch and see what we're gonna do. Well, first, I mean, we should probably see what Cardi is actually gonna do by pressing this button. And what on earth is Cardi spawning in? Is he literally doing the same exact army that I had last round? Wait, I kind of want to ask Cardi about this because I am really, really confused why he's doing this. Um, Cardi, I can hear some fire mobs on your side. What are you spawning in? Smirky, what am I spawning in? I am definitely spawning in fire mobs. You're right, but I'm not spawning in just any fire mob. These are very familiar to you. Very familiar fire mobs, Cardi. Wait, does that mean that you literally spawned in the same exact mobs that I had last round? Why are you spawning in the same exact mobs that I had last round, Cardi? Uh, no, Smirky, I'm not doing that. And okay, maybe I am. But, uh, but that's just because you had such an OP army that I'm trying to make a very OP army too. Um, okay, Cardi. Anyways, I'm just gonna go back to spotting my mobs and nothing else at all. But anyways, let's just work on our own armies. And, uh, Cardi can't hear me now. But it is time to prank him, actually. So what we are gonna do is we are gonna attempt to dress up as one of his mobs. And this guy looks like a cool mob to dress up as. Called the Ignis. So let's figure out how to dress up as this guy. So if we search up Ignis, it actually looks like there is some Ignis armor. So let's take this and see if we can actually dress up as this mob with this Ignis armor on. So let's put it all on like this and get our potion and splash it on ourselves. And these mobs look really cool to dress up as, so why don't we dress up as them? Well, I have an idea of how to dress up as those mobs exactly, and let me show you. So first, we are gonna grab some Neferite pants because that is kind of what these guys have. And then we are gonna grab some lava armor like that. And then grab some dragon helmet just because it, it looks like it has a dragon face on it. So if we put this all on ourselves, this is actually what we look like. And we look pretty similar to these guys. But now what we have to do is get our potion and splash it on ourselves. And wait, I actually uh, cannot believe that worked because now we are literally one of Cordy's monsters. And that is so cool. But I have a really, really good prank for this round. And let me show you exactly what that is. And, uh, Cardi still does not notice that there's anything different about his army. He has no idea that it's actually so funny. But what we are gonna do as his mob is we are actually gonna build something to actually destroy his entire army during this second round. And to start off building it, we actually gotta type a command to make sure that we can build what we wanna build really fast. So now if we literally right click, we can just place down blocks and let me actually see if you guys can guess what I'm building by the colors of it. And I'm just gonna tell you, it is something that has a lot of lava in it. And if you can guess what I'm building, you should comment it right now. And if you guessed it was a volcano, you would be right. Because we are going to make a giant volcano to prank Cardi's army during this second round. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna place a bunch of these blocks like this. And make the base of his volcano. And then start coming up with these blocks to make the shape of the volcano like this. And now that we have the shape of the volcano... We are gonna grab some lava to make the volcano start having lava flowing down from it. So let's place a few lo volcano lava all around it like this. And now it's actually starting to look a little bit more like a volcano. But I wonder if Cardi notices this at all. Oh my gosh, I am so happy that I have such a powerful army this time around. But wait a second, why is there lava here? And what on earth is this a volcano? And I think Cardi did realize that we built a volcano on his side. But I wonder if he has any clue why it's here. I have no idea why this volcano is here. I mean, maybe it's because... I mean, maybe it's because I have fire mobs. Maybe they spawned it in. Uh, yeah, Cardi. That's definitely not why. But I'm gonna hope Cardi is distracted by the outside of this volcano while I go on the inside of the volcano and prepare our prank. So what we're gonna do is get some bedrock and actually cover up this layer of the volcano so we can make sure Cardi doesn't get curious and try and look inside it. So let's cover it all up with bedrock. And now cover up the outside with lava. Just like this. And now it actually does look like a volcano. But what we're going to go and do is go into spectator mode. And actually go in the inside of the volcano to actually do something. 
And what we are going to do on the inside of the volcano is grab a few volcano TNTs and put them inside of this area. So during the mob battle, we can come down here and activate all these TNTs to go and instantly kill his mobs. But the reason why this is going to be so good is because Cardi won't, is because Cardi won't suspect a single thing is be because this is literally inside of a volcano. So you'll probably think that the volcano right here is erupting since we have have a few TNTs like meteors and volcano showers. But now that we're still on Cardi's side and we're done with all the pranks that we wanted to prepare, let's unmorph like this. And there we go. We are now unmorphed and we are back onto our side. And look, this actually looks so realistic. This doesn't even look like anything that is about to happen. But wait, uh, I feel like we do need a mob that can actually survive this volcano shower. And wait, I have just the mob idea in mind. What we are going to spawn in is a mob called the cinder shell since it is basically a volcano turtle and it has a huge volcano lava shell on its back meaning that it will not be able to take any damage from all the volcano powers that we put inside the volcano but anyways now that we have our mob and that we have our pranks done while we were dressed up as his mob cardi are you ready to drop the walls and go on to the second round of the mob battle what kind of question is that smoke yeah of course I am, and my mom spawned in a super cool thing. Uh, what did your mom spawn in, Cardi? Because my mobs didn't spawn in any super cool thing, so what are you talking about? Well, since I have a bunch of fire mobs, they made a volcano! Uh, Cardi, your mobs made a volcano? Didn't you spawn in the exact same mobs as me last round? Yeah, but I think my- Yeah, but I think the mobs like me better, so they built me a big volcano. Uh, yeah, Cardi, whatever. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyways, are you sure? Sure, you're ready to drop the walls? Yes, I am, Sparky. Let's go. And let's go. And now the walls have dropped, Cardi, and prepare to lose because my mom isn't going to take any damage. Sparky, what is this? This is a massive turtle. Oh, uh, yeah, that's precisely what it is, Cardi. This is literally a lava turtle. And since I knew you were spawning in lava mobs, I felt like I had to spawn in my own lava turtle. That won't take any damage. But, Cardi, I feel like you should have been a little bit more creative with your army. Uh, why, Smirky? Because it looks like they're winning right now. Uh, yeah, I feel like that's about to change really soon. But anyways, what is this giant volcano right here? I don't know, Smirky, but it looks like it's gonna be super OP. And, uh, wait, Cardi, I think something's happening behind you. Look behind you really quick. Uh, okay. Cardi can't hear me, but as he's distracted, what we're gonna do is go inside the volcano and actually grab a flame and steal and actually activate all these different TNTs and uh oh I think we activated everything let's get out of here and Cordy what on earth is happening what is happening the whole arena is getting destroyed why did the volcano erupt uh, yeah, Cardi, I think it literally erupted in. And what on earth is happening, Cardi? It's raining meteors from the sky, and what on earth is happening? Cardi, how did you have a volcano that literally erupted in? I don't even know. I didn't build that, Smirky. It literally just spawned in. Uh, yeah, Cardi, I don't know how a volcano just, uh, you know, spawned in, but are any of your mobs alive? I don't see any of your mobs. Uh, Smirky, I don't think any of them are alive. Did they all die from the volcano? Volcano? Uh, yeah, maybe. But wait, do you see what is alive? Wait, the giant turtle's alive. I think the shell protected it from all those volcano eruptions. Oh, wow, Cardi, that is really, really lucky for me. I can't believe that happened. What on earth just happened anyways? I'm so bad. I was gonna win that. Are, are you sure you were gonna win that, Cardi? Yes, I was. Sparky, let's just reset the arena and I'll definitely win the next round. Um, okay, Cardi. Anyways, let's reset the arena like this. And now the arena is reset and we are on to the third round which means that we have some really really funny pranks in store because last round that was actually kind of insane. But this round I have a really really dorky prank plan so do not leave. But I kind of wonder what Cardi is going to be spawning in this round so let's press the button and change it to glass. What on earth did Cardi spawn in? Because that looks like a cosmic 
speed are you kidding me that mob is literally one of the most powerful mobs in minecraft uh, i think this thing can literally kill anything but um i'm just gonna ask cardi what he spawned in and hopefully he'll tell me uh cardi uh can you tell me what you spawned in please i hear some really really scary noises on your side yes i can smirk it i have a massive cosmic feed monster uh cosmic fiend monster cardi did you get like tired of losing or something why are you spawning in that in. Yup, Smirky, now I can never lose a mob battle again! Oh my gosh, Cardi. Anyways, uh, good luck on spotting in your RB, because I do have some stuff to do, and now that Cardi can't hear me, I feel like now is a really good time to dress up as this mob because we gotta make sure that mob literally won't attack anything. But wait, before we spawn again this mob, remember how I said I was gonna do a really, really derpy prank? Well, let me show you exactly what that is. Well, what we're gonna spawn in is literally a rainbow sheep because this does look really, really derpy. And since we are gonna be dressing up as Cardi's mob, he's gonna have no idea why his cosmic fiend is gonna be losing to this super duper derpy rainbow sheep. Well, uh, anyways, speaking of dressing up as Cardi's mobs, and I already have our armor picked out because this is literally Cosmic Fiend armor. We actually do look kind of similar to the Cosmic Fiend, but now what we need to do is actually throw our potion and turn into the Cosmic Fiend like this. Let's go. And wait, let's go. I think we actually turned into the Cosmic Fiend. I cannot believe that worked, but but look, Cordy does not see a difference between me as the Cosmic Fiend and his actual Cosmic Fiend. And look, he's just walking around waiting for me to drop the walls. I'm dropping the walls. I guess I am really ready to drop the walls because, uh, well, I mean, my army is kind of ready. And Cordy thinks that his army is ready too. But anyways, let's ask Cordy if he's ready to drop the walls. And Cordy, are you ready to drop the walls? Yes, I am, Smirky! All right, well, in that case, let's drop the um... And now the walls are dropped. And, uh, Cardi, do you see what I spawned in? Oh my gosh, you spawned in a sheep. You are definitely gonna lose. Cardi, are you sure I'm gonna lose? Because I don't see your monster doing anything. And I think right now it's kind of just spinning in circles. What is it doing? Uh, I think it's warming up its attack. Smirking to do an insane, to do an insane attack to one shot your sheep. Uh, okay. Cardi can't hear me right now. That is definitely not what I'm doing. I'm just spinning in a circle. What is he talking about? But it I'm gonna keep spinning in a circle to make Cardi think that it's actually warming up its super powerful attack. Come on, this is gonna be the coolest attack ever. Uh, yeah, Cardi, no, it won't. But anyways, now that Cardi still can't hear me, what we're actually gonna grab is some boop and then just throw it on our sheep like that. And Cardi's gonna have no idea what his mom is doing. Wait, what are you doing? Cosmic Fiend, this is your special attack. Are you throwing poop? Oh, uh, yeah, that's kind of what I just did. But Cardi has no idea what just happened. I'm just gonna troll him a little bit more. Cardi, uh, did your Cosmic Fiend literally just throw poop on the ground as his special attack? Are you sure this is a Cosmic Cosmic feed, Cardi? Well, Smirky, it's supposed to be a cosmic feed, but I don't know why it's doing this. Uh, that's really weird. And now I'm gonna make it seem like I'm doing another special attack. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fly around the arena really fast like this. Oh, but Smirky, look at him now. Now he's flying around in circle. He's probably gonna do his real special attack now. It's really special attack? Uh, we'll see about that. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fly up super duper 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 high like this, and I'm just gonna gonna go and type the command game mode survival to turn into survival and then just fall on the ground and die and cardi what just happened did your mom die from full damage smarky how did my mom just die to a sheep uh cardi i think it literally died from fall damage and wait cardi can't hear me good thing we on more from that and cardi didn't see me but uh cardi did your mom actually seriously die from fall damage i thought that thing could fly yeah, Smirky literally landed right next to this poop and died. Uh, what the heck was your cosmic feed doing, Cardi? I think you literally spawned in a dumb cosmic feed or something. This isn't fair. Why do I keep losing? Cardi, uh, hopefully next round you spawn in a way better mob because, as you know, next round is the final round, which means you need to spawn in something really, really good. Okay, Smirky, I will make sure to do that. Anyways, let's just reset the arena because that was really embarrassing for you, Cardi. Okay, let's go. 
And now we are on to the final round of the mob battle, but do not leave because you made it this far already. And wait, speaking of you guys, did you know that literally almost none of you are you subscribed? I don't even know why. Well, if you watch these videos all the time and you enjoy them, you should definitely subscribe. Let's go. Anyways, now it's time for the pranks once again. So what we're going to do is press this button and see what Cardi is trying to do for this round. So let's press it. And what on earth? Is Cardi spawning in? Is this literally a muted villager? Well, this should be really easy to dress up as. And I actually have a really, really funny idea for a prank that we should pull. And let me see if we can actually do it. So, first of all, what we're going to grab is we are going to grab a crown. So, let's get this. And now what we need is a cape. And then we need to get some black pants so uh let's just grab these pants and then let's see if this outfit actually looks like that king if we put this all on so let's put it on and wait we actually do look kind of similar and what the heck it even spawned us some guards in when i put this on okay so this should mean that this is literally the right outfit but as you've seen before we gotta make sure it is and see if we're actually able to turn into his mob so what we're gonna do is get our potion and throw it like this and what is happening and what the heck? I actually turned into the king and oh, Cardi's just look at me. Well, I'm gonna tap him a little bit and actually try and prank him with this king now. I am super, super happy that I have a giant muted villager this time because all the other mobs didn't work, but this guy will. Uh, yeah, about that. Anyways, let's start breaking Cardi. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna grab some building blocks and actually fake building a castle for Cardi to make it seem like his mob is really, really smart unlike his last mob which uh literally pooped on the floor and then died right after wait are you building a castle right now this is so cool you are gonna live in your very own castle uh yeah i'm just gonna nod my head at cordy and i'm just gonna make it seem like i'm just building a castle right now let's go this is gonna be such an easy win smirky has no idea what's in store for him uh yeah i definitely don't know what's in store for him well anyways let's just finish up building the castle bye finish Finishing up the towers, finishing off the walls and floors, and then even building a red carpet and a throne for the king to sit in. And look, it is all done. We literally have a miniature castle for ourselves. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you built this entire thing by yourself. Uh, yeah, it is a little bit impressive, Cardi, but it is not by myself because I was literally hiding as this villager, but Cardi does not know that because he cannot hear me right now. But when Cardi looks away, I am actually gonna do my prank, and it kind of involves putting something in this castle. So I guess Cardi is kind of just running away waiting for the walls to drop. Well, why, while he's not looking, I'm gonna open up these parts of the walls, like, this and grab some special TNTs to put in here like some zombie TNTs and then we'll fill this all up to spawn a bunch of zombies because zo villagers do not like zombies. So we're going to put them like that. And then cover this all up like this. And then over here, we are going to open this up. And then grab some TT times 100. And fill up this with around 10 of these to equal around 1,000 TNT. And that's probably going to break the server. But anyways, let's cover it up because I do not care. And then we'll come over here and fill this all up with rainbow TNTs just to make it really chaotic. And then even some lightning TNTs. There we go. Now let's cover this all up like that. And then in this last room over here, we are gonna spawn in a few muted zombies in here just to make it even more chaotic and get back because I need to cover you guys up. So let's just cover that up and uh, hopefully Cardi doesn't see this. Well, we should probably drop the walls quickly because I think Cardi will see this soon. Anyways, let's put up all the evidence and then refer back to herself like this and there we go we are back to our normal self and there we go we are back to our normal self now well i guess we should press this button to actually see if our thing works so there we go and look it actually does look perfect and cardi will not suspect a thing this castle is so cool i still can't believe that this villager was able to build it yeah that is a little bit crazy but as cardi's looking at that castle and is looking at his mob i feel like we 
got to spawn in our own mob. And remember how we spawn in our own mutant zombies hidden in his castle over there? I feel like we should spawn in a few mutant zombies back here because that is literally the exact counter to his king. So let's spawn in a few mutant zombies. And why don't we spawn in like five? Because these are going to be really powerful. And anyways, now that we got our entire army ready, Cardi, are you ready to drop the walls and go on to the last round of the mob battle? Yes, I am. But I'm about to win this last round. Cardi, you are just not going to win this last round. Anyways, are you ready to drop the walls? Yes, I am. Let's go. And now the walls have dropped, Cardi. And uh, Cardi can't hear me right now. But let's flick that lever to actually go and ignite all the TNT in here. And uh, I kind of wonder what's going to happen. Oh, uh, Smokey, what is this? Smokey, there's a ton of zombies on my side. Wait, you're right about that. Why are there so many zombies here? Did you find zombies in this castle you built? Why did you even build a castle? Smokey, I did not build this. My king built this. Uh, your king? Well, your king's about to die. And I think it is dead, Cordy, but what is happening? Why do you even have these levers on here? What do these do? Smacky, I, I didn't put those levers there. What are you talking about? And, and what? Uh, what is happening, Cardi? Where did your kid go? I mean, he did just die, but why do you have TNTs in all this? What? There's even more levers over here and everywhere. What on earth just happened, Cardi? What is going on? Smokey, the, the king that built that castle rigged it with a bunch of traps. Cardi, did it like sabotage its own castle? And it even had more mutant zombies in there. Where did all these guys come from? Smokey, I don't even know. I just lost, though. And yeah, Cardi, I think you did definitely lose. But Smokey, uh, why do you have like a bunch of a king armor on and a giant cape? Uh, Cardi, well, I guess now I've officially won the mob battle, so I will tell you. Basically, Cardi, I installed the mod that allows me to dress up like your mobs, and when I do, I kind of get to turn into them. That's why you had a bunch of weird stuff happening on your side, because I was your mobs, and I was pranking you. Wait, were you that cosmic fiend, too, that just kept pooping? Uh, yeah, that was me, Cardi. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Yeah, it was really funny. You know what? I'll give you the win just because I pranked you. Okay, let's go. Well, if you enjoyed this mob battle, remember to like and subscribe and click on one of the videos on the screen. And you should definitely subscribe now. Anyways, bye.